Yo, what's going on guys? So, today I'm bringing you a review on the Blue Encore 100 microphone. Is it a good mic for DJs? Now first off, let's talk about the appearance. Excuse my appearance, I'm actually recording videos and working on a home project for the studio. So stay tuned for that. That's why I look a little bummy, I'm in a, I'm in a work shirt. So yeah, excuse my appearance. But anyways, um, as you can see by the appearance of the microphone, it's very nice. It's, it's a very pretty microphone. I mean, it looks real good. It has a chrome grill. Uh, yeah, it has a chrome grill. Um, your blue logo, which is nice, has this nice charcoal gray um, finish. Very nice, scratch resistant. I mean, it, it definitely it definitely doesn't feel like this, the paint is going to be coming off on this. Um, and it's heavy. It has a really good weight to it. Um, and that's basically all you can talk about when it comes to appearance, because that's all there is to a microphone. Now, some people compare this microphone to the SM58, which is a legendary microphone from Sure, which everybody and their mama uses. Um, excuse this drunk microphone clip. Now, what's a better value? Is this a better value against the Sure SM58, which retails for about $100? I would say this is a better value. Only reason being is there's certain places where you can find something special where you can buy two for $100. Therefore, you buy one, get one free. So when I ordered this one, I actually got a second one in the mail with it. Um, I don't have that one here. I actually gave it to a buddy of mine since I'm not really going to be using it as much as I will probably be using this one. And I also have a wireless microphone. Um, so I think two mics for me right now is good to go. So technically, this is a $50 mic if you think about it. Now, what comes in the box? I don't have the box here. I unboxed this a while ago. I've been using this for a while. Therefore, that's why I want to do this review now. Um, you get a... You get a microphone clip that is pretty solid, and you also get a small little instruction manual. Um, and what I really like about this mic is most mics come with like this pencil case. Um, usually there is some type of leather or fake leather. This one actually came with a really thick cloth um, pencil case for the microphone, and it's really soft on the inside, so it's not going to damage your mic in any way. And it really feels like it definitely protects your microphone when it's in it. Now, pros to this microphone, one, obviously, it's a really good-looking microphone. If you have it right here, you know, if you're one of those guys that likes to, you know, bring a, a microphone stand for you for all your mobile gigs or maybe to the club, and you like to have it right here off the side where you can swing it in when you want it, um, you know, it's a definitely nice-looking microphone. It's really pretty. It definitely catches your eye and looks really professional. It's pretty flashy. Now, let's get into the cons about this microphone and what I guess you would say is my biggest gripe about it. Handling noise. If you have it on a microphone stand like this, you could tell that, you know, or you're not going to get really much handling noise from it at, at all. But uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and from now on, for the rest of this video, I'm going to talk to you through this microphone. I'm going to be recording uh, Serato DJ. Um, all my levels will stay flat. Everything will stay flat on my mixer um, and everything will be straight up flat uh, right down the middle at 12 o'clock um, on Serato as well. So everything's going to be... A straight signal, I'm not going to EQ nothing, nothing. This is going to be exactly how the mic sounds if you run everything straight at, you know, 12 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, let me go ahead and switch that on. And now we should be rocking through the Sure Wireless mic. Um, let me go ahead and turn down my monitor. That way, you know, we don't get any type of, uh, we're not going to get any type of uh, feedback or anything. Um, I ran this like this for a long time i never got any feedback from my studio monitor over here uh, but let me go ahead and turn down this monitor that way you don't think it affects any type of the sound at all what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and move this uh stand a little closer to me so as you can see it's really relaxed right here and i'm, I'm talking a couple inches away from the mic everything's set regular on um, the mixer, I have not EQ'd anything at all. I have not um, turned up the boost, the gain in Serato. So this is how the microphone sounds. Now, what I like about it, as far as the sound, it's, it sounds real good. I mean, it's a real clean microphone. Um, good for like podcasts and stuff like that. And I'm going to be using this microphone for a podcast that I'm going to be putting together pretty soon. Um, gripes about it though, as you can see, it sounds perfectly fine. You don't hear no noise from the microphone as far as its chassis because it's on a stand. Now, as soon as you start to, you can hear I have handling noise on the microphone. Um, that's a big gripe. If you're one of those guys that, you know, likes to move the mic around in your hand or readjust it in your hand while speaking, you're definitely gonna hear that. Um, let me go ahead and take it off the clip. And as you can hear, me just moving my hands on it. This, I'm not moving very 
uh, rigorously. I'm not, you know, moving very, uh, I'm not being extra hard on the microphone as far as like, you know, force that I'm putting on the microphone. But you can see by just moving my hands around, I have noise. I have handling noise. That's my biggest gripe about it. Now, if you hold the microphone nice and firm and don't move from your position on the actual mic itself, you, you can see I really don't have no handling noise. It's fine. It's silent. But as soon as you start to move your hand to adjust your hand, you know, for a more comfortable grip for yourself, that's when you can hear microphone noise. Um, is it a gripe? Yes. Is it a game killer? It can be for some people. Um, like I said, if you're going to be rocking this on a microphone stand, which I recommend to eliminate microphone voice, uh, microphone voice, what am I talking about? To eliminate uh, handling noise, um, then you should be okay. Now, can you use a regular just for DJ use, mobile use, club use? Yeah, you can. Um, just keep in mind the handling noise. So every time you grab the mic, make sure you're going to hold the mic that way um, when it's on. And then when it's off, you know, you can handle it all you want. But uh, as far as that, that might be a game killer. I don't have the SM58 for sure right now in the studio with me. Um, I can do a comparison video coming up soon if you guys would like to see that. I know from past experiences though with the SM58, you really don't have much handling noise, at least not as much as this microphone. Um, so bang for your buck though, to get two of these microphones for $100, you get a microphone that sounds really good, really crisp. You know, basically it's a $50 microphone. You're basically getting two microphones for $100. I mean, that's a hell of a deal um, versus one sure microphone. The handling noise, though, you definitely got to think about it. Um, it, would, it wouldn't it would kill me. I mean, I've seen some videos on this before where I did have some handling noise, and it kind of did. You know, I was aware of it coming into it. I didn't realize how much there was um, until you actually I actually started messing with it, but putting it on a stand or just holding it like this regular has been fine. So this has been my quick uh, review of the Blue Encore 100 microphone. Hope you enjoy this review. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button right under this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Andy Mac, motherfucker.